Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars. This week I've been testing the brand new Dyson Micro 1.5 kilogram cordless vacuum, which is the lightest cordless vacuum I've ever tested, and I was surprised to see how much of a difference that made. I put the Micro through all kinds of tests, and in this video I'll go through all the pros and cons and compare it with its most obvious competitor, the Dyson OmniGlide. So links in the description, and let's get started. First, the basics. Like the Dyson OmniGlide, which came out earlier this year, the Dyson Micro is a hard floor vacuum only, meaning that it only comes with a soft roller, otherwise known as a fluffy attachment, which I absolutely love for hard floors and we'll talk more about in a minute, but it is only for hard floors. Also like the OmniGlide, it doesn't use a trigger, but rather an on off button with an optional max power button. The dustbin construction is much like other Dyson cordless vacuums other than its smaller size, which is the same size as the OmniGlide. While attachment sets can vary Mine came with a mini motorized tool, a combo dusting brush slash crevice tool, a workshop tool, a new crevice tool with an LED light, a wand clip, and a docking station. It also has an excellent sealed filtration system, something that you usually only see on high-end vacuums like this one. The big story with the Micro, though, is its small size. As I said, it's the lightest cordless vacuum of the 50 or so that I've tested so far, and that's a big deal to me. I'm always complaining in my videos that these cordless vacuums are too heavy and cause forearm strain. The Dyson Micro, at about a two pound handle weight, didn't cause any noticeable strain even after using it for its full charge, which I know shouldn't be impressive, but it really was. It should be noted that the Dyson OmniGlide is only slightly heavier than the Micro, and I noted in that review how impressed I was with its ease of use as well, also due to its lightweight design. The big difference is the handheld aspect. While I pretty much wrote off as a loss using the Dyson OmniGlide, Glide as a handheld vacuum due to its inline design, which made it too long and I think too awkward to use as a handheld vacuum. And while we're on the subject, I've also written off most of the larger size Dysons as being used as handheld vacuums. It can be done, but because of their size and weight, it's not easy to hold them or to maneuver them in tight spaces. But the Dyson Micro is a different story altogether. Even with the heavier turbo brush attachment, it felt extremely light. I also like the ergonomics of the handle design, which gave it a good center of gravity, making it easy to hold for longer periods of time and for use in tight spaces. But of course, the Dyson Micro is more than a handheld. It's primarily a hard floor vacuum, which uses a slightly smaller version of Dyson's now iconic soft roller. Vacuum Wars viewers probably get tired of me saying this, but I think soft rollers in general are the best way to vacuum vacuum hard floors by a long shot. Unlike traditional floor heads, they basically dust hard floors, picking up fine debris nearly perfectly. But ironically, they're also far better than traditional floor heads with larger debris. This is because soft rollers conform to the debris while keeping a tight seal on the floor. And the Dyson Micro performed extremely well on all the pickup tests I did, far better than any traditional floor head design would have done, including Dyson's well-designed torque drive head. One quick note about carpets, this is marketed as a hard floor vacuum only. It's not meant to agitate carpets and clean deep down dirt, but it can clean surface debris on carpets and rugs fairly well, which is another advantage over the OmniGlide, which because of its two roller design gets bogged down on carpets right away and so is not able to pick up even surface debris. So the Dyson Micro is a bit more versatile than the OmniGlide, like if you had hard floors and just a few rugs, let's say. With the various power tests, I found that it was virtually identical to the OmniGlide in both suction and airflow, which was not surprising since they do have such a similar construction. As I noted in the OmniGlide review, these numbers would be considered below average for Dysons and other cordless vacuums in general, but because of the hard floor only, i.e. soft roller concept, they don't need much power to operate. In fact, I did all of the pickup tests in this video on low power and never even needed to use the max power. There was an exception to that, which was the crevice pickup test, where low power wasn't enough to get all the debris in the eighth and quarter inch crevices, but max power was. In general, though, I think standard power is all you will ever need to do the job. Dyson says the battery life is about 20 minutes on standard power and around four minutes on max power, the same numbers as with the OmniGlide. In my real world test, I got around 26 minutes on standard power, and for context, I was able to vacuum my 181 square foot room 13 times, which would be around 2,353 square feet of vacuuming on a single charge, but take that with a grain of salt since I was casually vacuuming and not really concerned with fine details. But it does give you an idea of how much air 
area you could cover on a single charge. One of the negative things I noticed is that hair gets tangled in the axles, and did so in both the 7 and 14 inch human hair tests. It didn't get tangled around the roller so much as it did around the axles, though not as badly as with the Omniglide, which did the same thing. In any case, I strongly recommend breaking down the floor head regularly and cleaning out the hair from the axles because it could create problems down the road if not regularly maintained. The second con was the price, and to be fair, it's a pretty good price compared to other Dysons, and it's the exact same price as the Omniglide, but relative to other cordless vacuums, it's still a premium price and should be noted. All in all though, this is a product I've been waiting for for a long time. A truly lightweight cordless stick vacuum that doesn't tire out your arm and can be used for handheld applications like car cleaning and other places where there is a tight fit. I think Dyson executed it very well and it looks like it will last a long time if properly maintained. I still need to do a full in-depth comparison with the Omniglide and the Micro, so links in the description to both of those and be sure to subscribe to Vacuumores to watch for that video. Thanks for watching.